Hello everybody, I'm Loaf Dog and welcome back to Trails in the Sky. Before we start, let me just say this. Please excuse my voice. I have a little bit of a cold going on, so so yeah. <laughs> there are no requests. Huh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess I did um check some time ago and there weren't many side quests, if any actually in this chapter. That's probably for the best. <laughs> Since we have a tendency of uh, just not doing them. Um, what is our goal though? Do we just try and go to the castle? I guess so, yes. Ooh. Damn. The queen's got a pretty cool castle. I'll give her that. What is that on the um, on the door? Is that like a phoenix or some other type of bird? Maybe an eagle? Wow, so that's Gransel Castle. It's gorgeous. I guess it really is fit for a queen. It's not just pretty. It's also really solidly built. For instance, look at the main gate. Yeah, I don't think getting through there would be an easy task. Which means I guess we'll have to talk to those soldiers there. Well, steal your nerves, and let's give it a shot. Okay, we're just country folk, here on vacation and checking out the castle. And we just thought we'd try and catch a glimpse of Her Majesty since we're here. <laughs> and surely they would just accept a request like that, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Does that sound okay to you? You know, you're disturbingly good at coming up with that kind of stuff. Not that it doesn't come in handy, but still... I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, now smile and act natural. You probably want her to act... the, the least amount of her natural self here. Um, hello there. Good afternoon. Welcome to Gransel Castle, please state your business. Oh, we're just getting here from Roland. We're taking in the sights, you might say. We were wondering if there was any chance we might get a tour of the castle. Uh, I get it. Spies! Terrorists! Arrest them! I'm sorry, but access to the castle is restricted to authorized personnel only. Security's been tighter, what with the terrorism scares. Once the terrorists are caught, tours will probably open up again. Really? Dang, there goes my dream of seeing the queen in real life. Well, not necessarily. She always addresses the people from her terrace during the birthday celebration. You could see her then. Fair warning though, her majesty hasn't been in the best of health these days. Are you even allowed to speak? Well, he's not speaking ill of the queen per se, but like to even gossip <laughs> about her. I don't know if she'll be able to manage her traditional greeting. Huh? Her Majesty is ill? Yes, I hear it's because of stress. Maybe from the shock of learning the Royal Guardsmen were involved in a terrorist plot. She hasn't, see she hasn't been seen much lately. I believe she's resting in her private quarters. Oh. Damn the Guardsmen, how could they just turn traitor like that? Never did like those damn elitist jerks anyway. But, but Lieutenant Schwartz was always so kind and considerate to everyone. She even taught us a uh, court etiquette uh, and how to wield a sword. I, I mean, she knows we are an infantry corp that specializes in uh, rifles, but there's no harm in knowing how to wield a sword, I guess. It's just hard for me to picture someone like that as a terrorist. Oh, of course it's hard. She probably left because she felt responsible for her men's actions. Poor Lieutenant Schwartz. Uh, you don't suppose? These two had a little crush on the lieutenant, do you? Yeah, it seems so. Um, <laughs> anyway, yes, the castle is off limits. Sorry, but you can't go inside. Eh, <sighs> well, I guess that's that. I'll just have to take you out. To dinner. I'm just a tad bit worried. If Her Majesty has a, has taken sick, who's seeing to her daily affairs with running the country? 
Yes, it's certainly a natural enough concern. For now, there's someone acting as her proxy on paper. How's that work? <laughs> Literally, on paper. I can't picture someone like him ever actually making any real governmental decision. Hey, watch what you say. Though I'll admit, I would have thought that the duty would fall to the princess. And you tell me to watch what I say. Oh, what's that? Whoops, speak of the devil. Is it gonna be Colonel Richard? But I mean, I don't know if they thought he, he was... Uh, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, Duke Dunan. Bah, I've never been so insulted. The tournament should have already begun and I'm not there. Philip, why didn't you wake me sooner? This is all your fault. I am terribly sorry, Your Grace. But I was merely trying to look after your mental well-being. For the last few days you have been in the banquet hall drinking and singing. Consuming exclusively beer and donuts while reading your morning comics. I feel that it should come as no surprise that you overslept. Silence, Philip! I'm not in the mood to listen to your chastisements. As the future king, I can do what I want, whenever I want. Bah, time is short. Come on, we must hurry to the Grand Arena. And as I was trying to say, it makes a lot of sense. Like, um, uh, I, I thought it couldn't have been Colonel Richard because he's someone capable and the soldiers wouldn't have talked about him that way. Ah. By any chance, was that? We know, don't even say it. That was his grace, the Duke, acting proxy for Her Majesty. Wow, suddenly I fear for the entire country. <laughs> Well, don't worry too much, he has a very reliable assistant. And it's thanks to him that we haven't had any major incidents lately. Do you tell. <laughs> Colonel Richard of the Royal Army Intelligence Division. Since the Duke is more of the playboy sort, the Colonel handles all the government affairs and that's what I was actually fearing, okay. I knew it. They're pushing harder into the core of the kingdom than I'd expected. So uh, try not to let this whole thing get you down. Krenzel's got plenty of other famous places you can check out. Yeah, you're in the royal city after all. Just go at your own pace. You're right, we will. Thank you both for your kindness. Well, that was... informative. I can't believe that the Duke is supposed to be acting on behalf of the Queen, though. The real power is probably in the hands of Colonel Richard. What's more, no one around him has any clue that he's the one pulling all the strings. Being able to control the flow of information must be an extremely useful tool. You're not supposed to envy the enemy. And anyway, it looks like the Duke is going to that fighting tournament. What did I call it? Tekken? I believe. Can we go too? Yeah. I want to meet Cassia so bad. If nothing else, we need to keep an eye on what's what he's up to. That settles it then. Um, which way was it to the Grand Arena? I believe it's in the East Block. So, back to the main road, then East. Okay. Before we go to the main road, though, I would actually... Uh, prefer to visit the shop. If there is any. East block, west block. Yeah, it's gotta be in one of those. Well, no. We actually have to go through the south block. No, because I was just wondering. I think since this is the final area, basically, uh, we will find the best weapons here and the best armor. I think we have a little bit of money to spare, so this is an inn. I don't care about that. The Bracer Guild. What is this? Arms and Guards. Yes, baby. Uh, shop. Buy. Spike Rod. New. No. Battle Staff. Yes. Uh-huh. 
and Schneiders. <laughs> okay. The cutters, basically. Um, metal jacket, shield coat. Ooh, okay. That does sound interesting. Although it would take up all of our budget. Uh, things here are really pricey. Damn. Mm. Yeah, maybe the shoes. Maybe a couple of shoes. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That'll have to do. No, no armor for you guys. Battle staff. And I guess I could probably sell the things that I'm not using, but uh, eh. There we go. And you too, my dear girl. Okay. East block, then it is. Yep. Yeah. Okay, up here. And to the east. No, not the lodgings now. All right, check the map. Landing port. Uh, a lot of buildings that are not like listed. Okay, and a shop in the middle. Huh. Department store, okay. Yeah, let's have a look, why not? Ooh, pretty neat. <laughs> I'm on a trip with my mommy. Good for you. What do you sell, fine people? Oh, bombs. Uh, do I need any? Maybe a reviving bomb? Yeah, just w just the one, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, I haven't been keeping up with the liberal news. It's, it's really just a waste buying it now. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I just want to see what you have in store, buddy. Okay, the accessories. Alright, it's not like I have much money to spend anyway, so let's just get out of here. And, um... I kind of got lost. What was my objective again? <laughs> Grenzel. Uh, oh, the arena, sure. It's gotta be this one, yeah. Where all the people are gathering. There we go. Currently at the arena, we're holding the preliminary matches of the martial arts competition. May I see your tickets? Tickets sailed are to the right. Ah, okay. Thank you very much, dude. Welcome to the Grand Arena. Would you like a ticket? Yes, too, please. Preliminaries are in progress right now, but the main event will last for three days starting tomorrow. For which day would you like your ticket? Uh... Actually, we were hoping to catch the preliminary matches if we could. Oh, alright then. They're already more than halfway finished though. Will that be a problem? Nope, no problem at all. Okay, bad value, but hey, not my money. That'll be a thousand Mira. Wow, that's a lot. You could buy an eighth of a shoe with that. <laughs> I'd heard that there was some kind of discount for her for the birthday celebration. Yeah, that is the discounted price, probably. I'm sorry, sir. This year there have been some complications that have made it impossible for us to offer discounts. Okay, that's pretty sucky, but uh, what can you do? Let's see, 900, 950? Pay a thousand Mira. I mean, w what can I do, really? <laughs> can I not pay? No. Thank you very much. Here are your tickets. Nice. The entrance is to the left. Show your tickets at the gate. There you go, my man. Yeah, yeah, here's your tickets. Show tickets. Thanks. Everything seems to be in order. You may enter at your discretion. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow! This room is gorgeous! This is the entrance hall. Audience seats are on the second floor, apparently. Let's take a look. Anything to say? If you want to watch the preliminaries, you best hurry up. I believe you might just be in time to catch the seventh match. Welcome to the Grand Arena. 
Spectators may use the stairwell through either door to reach audience seating. Okay. Scoo-doo-doo-doom, boom, boom, scoo-boo-doo, boom, boom, boom. Ha, <laughs> look at the duke. Oh, wow, look at all these people. Yeah, there's some serious enthusiasm in the air. Judging by the number of spectators, this must be a major event. I wonder how far the prelim rounds go. Thank you for your patience. The seventh round is now starting. Oh, looks like they're starting up. Well, let's go find ourselves a place to sit down. <laughs> Are they gonna play soccer? <laughs> Southside Blue Team. Border Patrol, 2nd Regiment Team. Captain is 2nd Lieutenant Sammy. Are they gonna fight in groups? Okay. I wasn't expecting that, gotta be honest. Huh? I thought the matches were one on one. Yeah, me too, girl. Uh, I guess this one's a team outing. I could have sworn it was individual bouts only, though. North side, red team, bracer guild, Rensel branch team, captain is Kurt. Hey, it's Karna's team. Wow, we got here just in time to see them fight. <laughs> and Estelle is like, go soldiers, you suck Karna. <laughs> This begins the seventh preliminary match. Both teams go to your starting places. Take your positions. Begin! And the soldiers that just annihilate the bracers with a barrage of lead bullets. Like, is this even a fight? Ooh, okay. We got a nice little uh, transition there. Let me move the mouse out of the way. Ha, <laughs> it's funny, they actually use the, the battle system. Okay. Well, the bracers are quite stronger than their opponents, uh, it would seem. Ooh, okay, okay, a little, um... A little bit of, uh... What do you call it, support move? Yes. All right, you're gonna start to lose some members, soldier guys. Just beware of that. <laughs> they really don't want Karna to, to cast her spell. And one goes down. Gentle white caps. All right. Spiral Flare. Ooh, now I understand why they didn't want her to cast that. Wow. I want that girl in my team. Please. Oh, I want everybody. Please. <laughs> Joshua, Estelle, please. You, you gotta, like, sign them up. Just go... This is a national security threat. We, we need your help. Haha, <laughs> even the little victory screen. Woohoo! Go, Karna! That was a good match. The soldiers move well, but the bracers are better at working as a team. Yeah, you could use their moves for teaching lessons. Wow, I don't know what it is, but watching martial artists at work really gets me hyped up. I wish we had put off going to the castle. I'd have liked to see this from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I know how you feel, but we have a job to do. The part of being an adult is putting one's own feelings aside in favor of doing what needs to be done. Dude, you're 15. Or 16? Either way. Don't... don't rush. Uh, in adulthood like this. Y you can be a kid for a little while longer. 
you regret becoming an adult real fast, I assure you. Hmm. Well, I like not being an adult yet. There we go, Estelle. She gets me. She's my girl. Next stop, we have the eighth preliminary match. First, would the remaining competitor step forward? Southside Blue Team, Team Raven, Captain is Belden. Belden? Wait, aren't these the... Um, the Ruin Bandits or whatever? Yeah, the Ravens, actually. <laughs> he just said it. What, what are these guys doing here? Oh yeah, it's that group from the Warehouse District in Ruin. Ah, oh, I see. The competition's open to the general public. Ugh, they stick out like sore thumbs. They really don't deserve to be counted among professional soldiers and martial artists. Northside, Red Team, from the neighboring Calvard Republic, appearing alone is Zin. Ooh, okay. Zin? Another familiar face, eh? Small world. Fighting alone is going to be a real handicap for him. <laughs> Have you seen the dude? He's freaking jacked. He's tall like a mountain. <laughs> and these dudes are... A not really competent. Whoops, I skipped the dialogue, actually. He may be fighting a bunch of punks, but if they surround him, he's in real trouble. Nah, my dude's gonna be fine. Zin will be competing in this prelim bout solo, with no team to stand on its side. He fights at a considerable disadvantage, but his prodigious skill will make his match a sight to behold. We ask all in attendance to understand the arrangement. No refunds shall be given. This begins the 8th preliminary match. Both teams go to your starting places. Ready? Begin! Okay, we get to see another cool match. Ha! <laughs> They're not even putting a dent into his health. Look at that. And I mean, they're letting the basic guys uh, fight in this. Like, not even the, the, their strongest one, the... The trio? Just the underlings? <laughs> Dude! He destroyed them with a couple of punches. I mean, their morale after this and their self-esteem must be like an, uh, at an all-time low. Oral Blast! Dude! There was... No. No. There was no... He just... He just... Casted a Kamehameha against the four most normal dudes he could find. <laughs> Bro, that was so unnecessary and overkill. I love it. KO! Winner is Zen! Yahoo! Go Zen! That'll show him what bracers are made of! Looks like I was worrying over nothing. His build, speed, and technique make him a real force to be reckoned with. For anyone else, though, I'd say 4 on 1 is insane. Yeah, seriously. The current match will mark the end of the preliminaries. Eight teams will be competing in the no holds barred matches. The competition opens tomorrow, and over three days, the ultimate champions will be decided! Now, we will hear some words from the tournament's sponsor, Duke Doonan! Ahem! My dear ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your efforts in today's fine matches. I regret that government affairs forced me to miss the first half of them. 
But uh, I was here for the second half, and what I saw was an exciting and enjoyable display of technique and talent. The distressing news of recent terrorist activities has had an unfortunate impact on Her Majesty's health. But I ask that you take heart. She has entrusted her governmental duties to me, Dunan von Auslese, and I will do all that I can to live up to your expectations. Let us all remember the spirit and enthusiasm we feel during this competition and recall it in the days ahead. I hope you will all enjoy tomorrow's No Holds Barred Battle Royale. I'm, uh, I'm not used to hearing the Duke speak so decently to people. He probably just memorized something written by the Intelligence Division staff. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. The winner of the competition will not only receive a prize in Mira, but will also get a special gift from me. A kiss. Your Grace, are you certain that this is wise? You be silent. This is a fine opportunity to show my generosity. This gift is to me. A written invitation to a royal court dinner party at Gransel Castle, to be held in three days. Sadly, Her Majesty's presence will be missed, but it will be attended by celebrated persons of great renown. Arrangements have been made for only the finest royal and noble cuisine to be served. I trust that this will serve as an incentive for those competing to excel and advance. I mean... Yeah, that actually... Well, that obviously helps us, but it also feels like a cool uh, extra prize, not gonna lie. Hey, Joshua, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, it would be ideal if Karna got that invitation. If they win the championship, they'll be allowed into the castle. It'll all be above board. That could give her the chance to get the message to Her Majesty. Or were you thinking something else? No, that's it, but I hate the idea of leaving someone else to deliver the professor's message. We should join the tournament. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I'd have no objections. Shall we try to catch them in their waiting room before they leave the arena? Sure. Let's see. Karna's team came out from the north gate, right? Right. If they're still here, that's probably where we'll find them. Okay. Oh, Karna. Are you willing to forfeit your prize? For the greater good, of course. Okay, I can't turn here. Yeah, there it is. Karna! Hi everyone! Congrats on making it through the preliminaries! Hey, it's the new kids! I don't remember the voices I gave them. Oh, hey guys! Yo, you here to watch the fights? Yes, and we had a chance to see yours. That was a great match. Thanks, I'm glad you to hear you say that. I remember I gave him a stupid voice like that, like Kirby. <laughs> I can't really do it right now, uh, but uh, I I'll try. I don't get the sudden change to make it a team competition, though. <laughs> nah, this is not gonna work. Yeah, me neither, it's weird. But it's been okay so far. All of our members are in one piece. Master Zin must be worried, though. Oh, you know Zin, too? I don't know if I'd say that, uh, but I know the name. He's a famous bracer in the Republic. Uh, people call him Zin the Immovable. He apparently came to Liberal specifically to be in this tournament. Then the promoters threw a wrench in the works and changed it from single to team competition. And I'm betting that his grace is the one behind that idea. Either way, Master Zin still had no choice but to register as a one-man team. Ah, okay. Uh. The Duke is a pain in the ass, no matter where he goes. Ha <laughs> ha, no argument there. Still, this is going to make it hard for him to really show what he can do. No kidding. It's too bad no one's around to fight beside him. Ah, we can join in, okay. Say... Uh, well... Uh, maybe... Um, 
Uh, what just happened? Y'all got this creepy, serious look? No, we were just thinking. What would you say to teaming up with Zin in the later No Holds Barred fights? Well, I... Wait, what? Hmm, teaming up with him, is that even allowed? It's not his fault that the rules changed of the competition were changed at the last minute. If one of the core rules can be changed, then I think we've got some wiggle room. There really are no other bracers available that we could ask. Shards are busy and we haven't even been able to contact Agate. Are we gonna ask about Sherzard? I kinda wanna know where she's at. I mean, last time we've seen her, she was... Um... Unmasking, we could say. Uh, Olivier's... Um, hidden identity, secret identity? Kinda. So, she might have been in danger, for all we know. Similar story for everyone else, really. I don't think Cassius is even in the country. <laughs> if those two joined up, they'd probably be accused of cheating on general principle. Ho <laughs> ho, our chances of beating that team would be something like uh, 10,000 to 1. Anyway, we should focus on what's ahead rather than what ifs. Find Zin before the day is out, and if he agrees to let you join in, you should still have plenty of time to register. Okay. Oops, listen to us go on. I hope you will give this some th serious thought, but for now, we have to go. Um, bye bye, newbies! <laughs> she was hoping we see you in the ring. What do you think, Estelle? That sure went from talking shop to something else entirely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Now that's what I'm talking about. Almighty ideas, thank you so much for your bountiful favor. You're crap. Think about it, we can be in, in THE martial arts competition! And we can help Zin in the process! Not to mention, check out that awesome castle! And be a part of the big final ultimate super duper intense battle royale! We can kill three birds with one stone! You, uh, you really smoked some crack, huh? <laughs> you really want to do this that badly? We haven't even entered yet, much less made it to the final match. It would be nice to be able to handle the professor's request by ourselves, though. Assuming we even made it through, that is. Yeah, and think of how awesome it would be to win. Plus, we can't just leave Zin twisting in the wind. Let's go find him and ask him to join his team. Do you happen to have any idea of where he actually is? Probably... I don't know, are there some uh, food stalls or something like that? He could be hungry. Don't confuse the issue with the facts. Um, would you settle down for two seconds, please? Let's go back to the guild and report in to Elnan. He's also the one who's most likely to know where Zin is. Yes, but like, shouldn't you actually rush to uh, enter the tournament yourselves? I, I mean, of course you have to ask for Zin's permission. But I would do that after, cause, uh, yeah, what if they close, uh, the, the, well, it's not even an orthodox thing to be added after, uh, the, pre the preliminary fights, I guess, but, uh, huh, who knows. I see, yes, Zin has requested the Bracers send him some helping hands. I hadn't said anything to you guys since you're working on that request from the professor, but... Thanks to the whim of his grace, we can handle both tasks at once. <laughs> nice to see his selfishness work in our favor for once. What do you think about participating in the martial arts competition? Well, I think there is merit in allowing a skill which is practiced to be used without restraint. And with two Bracer teams participating, our chances of gaining access to the castle are doubled. You didn't even get the others involved until an end unless you lose, Personally, I think it's a splendid idea. 
Woohoo! That's my kind of encouragement. So, any clue where we might be able to find Zin? More often than not, he's in the bar down the street. Failing that, he stays at the Cover Republic's embassy. Gotcha! Makes sense since that's where he's from. The embassy is in the same block as the arena. We can stick our heads in the door at the bar along the way. Okay. Oh, by the way, where are you two planning to stay while you're here? Um, well, we could stay in a hotel. If I'm not mistaken, the northern blocks holds the largest hotel in the entire kingdom. Yes, the Hotel Ruhenbaum. If I may, allow us to cover the cost of your room. Oh yes, you may and you will, my boy. The Grand Soul Branch can afford it. Whoa, really? I mean, come on, girl, like, an organization that spans the whole continent. Do you really think they can't afford a room at the old hotel if you can? That's too much, honestly. We couldn't possibly... I consider it the necessary expense in the course of completing the professor's request. I wish I could provide more. Nah, just the room's good by me. Very well then, we accept your offer. I'll book your room then. Just give your name at the front desk this evening and someone will help you. Cool, thank you bro. Are there still no requests? Yeah. I mean, it does make sense. Things are pretty hectic as it is. It would be weird if we stopped <laughs> just to, just to, I don't know, uh, retrieve someone's ring that's fallen under the bed or something like that. Oh wait, I have to look for Zin first, don't I? Uh, the bar. Oh, he means the inn, right? Yeah, yeah, this one. Sunnybell Inn. Oh, is that a piano? Yes, not just a record either. It sounds like someone's playing inside. I feel like I've heard that melody somewhere before. I've got a bad feeling about this. About a piano? Oh, yeah, all of you. <laughs> I forgot about it. Yeah, he did play us a song. Oh, Joey, it's all of you. Still, I always figured his talk of being a traveling musician was a bunch of hot hair. He's actually pretty good. I guess he really wasn't kidding, eh? Yeah, I'm kind of in shock. My, my, my beloved Joshua. <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna... <laughs> Who's clapping? <laughs> There's <laughs> just the barmaid. That was my little number I call Amber Amour. It was originally a simple interlude in an opera whose name doesn't matter. I have infused it with the power of love and devotion. And invite you all to tip your ears and drink deep of that power. I take it all back. He's just a weirdo. Uh, now I feel all dirty for letting the song get to me. Nice to see you again, Olivier. What brings you to the royal city? I could little resist the pull of this place. It drew me here as surely as the siren's fallen tears are swept from the rivers to the sea. So here I stand, my raven-topped highness reunited with you at last. Ah, uh, <laughs> you really haven't changed at all. That's enough out of you. If I have to be subjected to this, let's at least sit down for a minute. Acting all smug and dandy? Totally oblivious to how tactless you are? <sighs> My dear Estelle, how I've missed that obstinate irritability you so thoroughly embody. Weren't you and Shara supposed to be going to Roland? When did you get here? Mm, about a month ago, I believe. After we parted company, Shara and I spent a short yet blissful time in Roland. But alas, the overwhelming spirit of wanderlust that courses through my veins eventually got the better of me. Twas all I could do to pull away from weeping, darling Shera, to protect her from being swept away to this blazing, dazzling wonder. What amazes me is that you can actually say that with a straight face. 
I'm betting that she drank you under the table every night until you finally decided to run off with your tail between your legs. Ugh. And then you figured you'd try your luck at drinking with Aina, right? Ah, but you didn't know about Aina, did you, Olivier? She's one of Shara's closest friends, works the information desk at the Roland branch. And as far as drinking goes, she's the only person I've ever seen who could outdo Shara. Ha ha ha! Come now, dear Estelle. I've never met this person you speak of, this Aina. Absolutely not. You might want to try that again, only this time without your voice cracking. <laughs> Okay, Estelle, enough teasing. I'm sure it was a very trying time for him. An affinity for spirits greater than even Shera. Hateful inebriation. Why dost thou arm thy darkest agents with smiles so alluring? Huh? Flashback much? And so begins the tale of Aina, Olivier's most tragic ballad. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, you've come after completing your tour of the surrounding regions, I presume. Mayhap you've seen something of interest. Well, we've seen a lot of stuff, but it's not easy to just sum up in a few words. Besides, we're kind of looking for someone, so maybe we can catch up another time. Oh, and might I inquire as to whom it is you wish to find? Yo, if our final party for the chapter is gonna be Estelle Joshua, Olivier and Zinn? Man, that's gonna be good. His name's Zinn. He's here from the Calvard Republic to participate in the martial arts competition. We know he spends a good amount of time in local bars, so maybe you've met him? Ah, yes. I recall him. Large as a bear, with a disposition not to match, thankfully. I've borne witness to his countenance on several occasions, but alas, today has yet to bear any sign of him. So in other words, he hasn't been to the bar yet. Odds are, he's at the Calvardian Embassy then. <laughs> then shall we proceed there at once? Are they not even gonna, like, be... I thought at least a cell would have been like, why are you... Okay. <laughs> How is it a matter of a matter of course for you to come with us? Ha ha ha! Please don't be cruel. Beyond my uses as a traveling companion, I also wish to assist in the manhunt. Unless, of course, you two want to be alone. What? Oh my! Such an unsophisticated child. But when you blossom to your full potential, you shall be a woman to be reckoned with. Haha, <laughs> and quite a desirable one, I'd wager. Huh? What are you trying to say? <laughs> well... Hiya! Hi! <laughs> you... Oh yeah, what the... Sir, speak to me! Uh, no good, it's not waking up. Estelle... You know... No matter how angry someone makes you, you're not allowed to brain them, especially not in public. It was all a flash, no impact. I didn't do any real damage. Ha ha ha, it seems that Estelle is a very shy individual. Well, he doesn't seem to be hurt. It's not like he's... <laughs> it's like, oh, thankfully you only got him in the brain. Uh, in the head, his brain wasn't much to begin with, so... Okay, let's get back to searching. We don't have time to mess around, let's just go to the embassy, okay? Okay, so why is she mad at me? So no, Olivier? Really? Come on. <laughs> Red, orange, yellow, gold, per periwinkle... Look at all the colors, such beauty. I will be with you always. I will be true to you always. <laughs> I mean, that's what too much teasing gets you, Olivier. You should have been careful. You don't mess with a young lady's heart like that. Uh... The embassy is... In the East Block, he said, I think. 
the history museum. Ooh, can we go and check up on uh, Alba? Yes. Gransel is an amazing city. Even with a high terror alert, all these people have come out just to celebrate. I like to start my research, but I also really want to go see the sights. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. Alright. Mm, what is this then? Oh, we just go to another area. No, 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 the landing port. No airships for us. No, thank you. They've already caused us enough trouble. Yeah, this is gonna be an embassy. It's guarded. Erebonian, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time he goes and causes trouble, the parties involved will come complaining to me. Oh, is he talking about all of you? Yeah, yeah, are all very upscale upstanding people. Uh, the notable exception, of course. <laughs> My dude causing trouble for everybody. What is this? Oh, it's like uh, one of the little guard posts. Cool. Then this one... No, this is the arena. And Culvert Republic, please. Where are you? Is this it? Yes. This is the embassy for the Culvert Republic. What's your business here? We're looking for a person named Zin. May we see him, please? Oh, you're here to see Zin, are you? Have you actually met the man? First time I did, I almost peed myself. What is it with these soldiers and TMI? Like, it's on their freaking resume. If it, it, you, You've got to have a big mouth. Otherwise, you can't join the military here. I was like, holy crap, I, he ain't a man, he's a grizzly. <laughs> he's a pretty big fella, for sure. But he's real friendly once you start talking with him. He even gave me a meat bun when I told him I was hungry during my shift one day. Wonder where he got that from. He didn't go to the stalls, he just produced it. Huh. Yeah, he's the kind of guy you can really count on, like a big brother. Ahem, indeed. So, may we see him? Oh yes, yeah, sorry. He actually stepped out again shortly after returning, said he had some business to take care of. Looking for a place to meditate and prepare for the tournament, or some such thing? Meditate, huh? Man, he's not kidding around. Where do you think such a place might be found? Well, when he left here, he was headed for the Urbis scenic route. The old, old forest path has a feeling to it, unlike a park, and him being monster infested makes it a good training ground. The Urbis scenic route? Okay, got it. Come on, Estelle, let's go find him. Roger that. Hang on, if you're going to the Urbis scenic route, there's one thing you need to know. Yeah, no stepping in the royal villa. I know, I know. There's a place nearby called the Urban Royal Villa. Oh, we heard about that place. I assume you're going to tell us that it's being commandeered uh, for the anti-terror division, so it's totally locked down? Good guess. They can raise quite a ruckus over there, watch your backs. Or better yet, just avoid it altogether. So they're strict, huh? Strict is, staring, is starting to get real old. Avoidance sounds good. Thank you for the information. Thank you, indeed. I still would like Olivier to join us, though. Come on, please, dude, catch up to us. Could you? Could you? And... Here we go, Royal Avenue. And from here to the scenic route. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Gurune Gate and Sangtime Gate. Okay, down here. No, wait. <laughs> and I mean, Estelle really shouldn't be complaining too much about avoiding enemies. We've been doing it all this time. I don't think, like, there's anybody... Uh, I mean, wh what's my level now? Uh, 22, 21 and 22 for Joshua. I don't know what level we're, we're gonna be if, mm, for the end of the game, but I'm gonna say mm, it's gonna be impossible to be any more than 25. So, 
that's gotta be like the lowest level anybody has finished the game in. <laughs> we really didn't want to fight. Heck, this could have been like Undertale with a pacifist root. You're a bit scenic route. I like the paved road through the forest. Neat stuff. I imagine the Gransolites have come here to stretch out and relax for a long time. I wonder just how long it's been here. Hmm. Well, I guess it should hook it should come as no surprise that the Queen's land is so gorgeous. Still, I can't help feeling like we've got monsters lurking around. Nicely done. The monsters here seem to be stronger than those we fought on the way here. <laughs> yeah, the ones we fought on the way here, you remember them, right? We're here to look for Zin, but don't let your guard down. Nah, dude, I would never. Um, a place to meditate, though. I'm go I, I was thinking, like, yeah, either this one or this one. Let's go to the northern one first. And, yeah, if not, let's just uh, go to the other one. I don't think it would be so... Well, not stupid, but, like, mm, naive as to go to the villa. Ah, monsters appeared. Cool. Ah, no, 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 no. This is too much to handle for Estelle and Joshua, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 no. Yeah, see that? We don't like that. Goodbye, thank you very much. See you in another lifetime. Or whenever we get a full party. Alright, only one place left to check. Ooh, he really wanted to fight us. Bam, 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 ba -dum, bam, bam, bam. What's the point, dude? If you're just gonna run away, why, why even fight me? Just mind your business, I'll mind mine. And we'll all leave happily ever after. Okay, almost there, almost there. Zen. Oh, come on, man. Are there gonna be monsters in this one as well? Yes, of course. <laughs> Why was I even asking? Alright. So, our boy is actually at the villa. Why? I couldn't begin to make a guess. That just seems to be asking for trouble, honestly. We'll have to ask him directly, I guess. Here we go. My man. Dude. We have some news for you. Oh, uh, wait, this is another area altogether. It's not just the villa. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, so it could be here. Okay. Okay. Let's try and get there. <laughs> Before the tournament comes to a close. Uh, ah, there we go. No. You heard that, right? It came from over there. Let's go. It's a nun. I help me, someone, please help me. Huh? Sister, it'll be all right. Stay back. It's too dangerous. I know it's dangerous, and I'm not your sister. <laughs> oh come on, no Zin helping us. Ah, damn it. Um, Jewel Strike, sure. If you could call Ideas real quick and make him uh, lend a hand, that would be really appreciated. Uh, sister. <laughs> oh no, poison. Estelle, please, don't, don't Joshua this. Don't Joshua this, please, Estelle. Oh, ouchies. <laughs> Come on, you could pray or something. Nah, but like, yeah, this is gonna be easy. No problems here. Now, if only Estelle could land the hit. Okay. We've gotta hurry up, or the sister's gonna, it's gonna fucking die. 
just move closer to it, what can I tell you? No, please, please, don't die, don't die, don't die. Girl, you've got a critical, use it wisely, nice. Okay, it's fine, sister. You should know that the poison just courses out of your system uh, once you're done with the fight. That's usually how it goes. No need for antidote or anything like that. Phew, that was pretty tough. Are you okay, sister? Y yes thank you. Uh, who are you? We're with the Bracer Guild. We heard you scream while we were looking for someone. I see. But in fact it was I, Zin. <laughs> are you okay? You don't look okay. Did you get hurt? N no, thanks to you I'm fine. I'm Sister Ellen. I perform my duties at Grenzel Cathedral. Thank you so much for your help. Haha, <laughs> you don't need to thank us. I must ask though, what is a clergywoman doing so far from Grenzel without escort? Did no one accompany you? No, I came alone. Actually, we ran out of medicinal herbs for mixing at the cathedral. The shop was also out of stock, so I came here to pick some. That was seriously risky. There are monsters everywhere. It was not always so. There used to be none to speak of. It seems their numbers have greatly increased in recent days. Okay, that also answers my questions of like, why are there so many monsters near the royal villa? Ah. Oh, whoa, uh, that's an army of bees. Wasps. What the heck are these things? They must have been attracted by the noise. Dealing with this many might be a problem, but not for Zin, am I right? Yeah, we need to at least get the sister to safety. Yo, need a hand? Zin? Thank Ideas you're here. <laughs> I was wondering who it was, and here it turns out to be you guys. But why don't we save the chit chat until we've dealt with the guests? Right. Roger that. Uh, we're not really in good shape, yeah, my man. Um, do I have like um, Tiara all bomb? Yeah. I mean, uh, it's like I don't want to use it here. <laughs> Mm, let's do this. We'll heal Estelle. Alright. There we go. Should be able to handle the rest. Alright. As long as they don't all attack the same target, of course. <laughs> yeah. And why wouldn't they? Ah, damn it, stop it. I mean, if we... Mm, technically... Let me check their... Um, their super move. Yeah, pummel the single attack. Yeah, but this... This is good. Hoo-hoo. Nice. Okay. Ooh, she's gonna die soon, though. Don't like that. Mm, craft. Uh, Sever, yeah, it's still single attack. I mean, I could use Flicker, but eh, eh, that's not too bad. But they're gonna die. They are so gonna die. Uh, what do you have, my man? Let's hear. 200 HP for all allies in the area. Yeah, why not? Ah, that's why. Okay, good to know. Well, Zin, it's all in your hands. Hope you're gonna make it. Single, single, self, all. Come on, dude, really? You don't have a... Oh, only the Oral Blast. Well, thank you very much, but uh, it's kind of useless here. Single, 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 single. Yep, okay. 1v1, why not? There we go. <laughs> Oh, he fled. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Oh no, if they all target the nun, I'm done for. Okay, so if Estelle and Joshua just... Uh, like... Had gone through the pain without dying... Okay, chill. For fuck's sake. Okay, goodbye. 
That's it. Yeah. Retry. Cool. Um, let's do this. Mm, yeah, cause uh, yeah, just attack this one and hope that they concentrate. Yeah, their attacks on him because he's closer. Cause yeah, they they really do go for the closest one usually. Not always, of course. Ooh, thanks. Well, that that's gotta be the um, the setting. Uh, take an effect like the one that no, not comment. The one that scales the fights uh, difficulty. <laughs> okay, uh, she did miss a couple of times, but that's not too bad. As long as I can, let's see, get a couple of them. Yes. Cool. Okay. Yeah, of course, she's not gonna survive this. Okay, okay. Oh, I thought he was gonna attack Joshua. Oh, well then. Uh, sure. It's a little wasted, but... We'll have a chance to rack up all those points again, so why not? Thank you very much, Mr. Wasp. Oh, he, he the, the game calls them bees. Okay, yeah. So, bees. Yeah, dude. Attack the ones near the poor lady. Ah, oh, come on. Dude, no! That's the only thing you can't do. I just wonder what level he is. I'll have to check later. Attack me, attack me, no, not her, me. Yeah, but without an area of attack... Nah, this isn't gonna end well. Because she's gonna run out of life just by... Yeah, running around. <laughs> I could probably heal her, though. Yeah, that is an option, I think. Ooh, okay. No, 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 it's, uh, it's over. I got it. Don't even worry about it. No, it's not this, it's craft. Oral Blast. Bye bye, suckers. Kamehameha! Whoo! If you had that from the start, my man, would have been much easier. <laughs> he said, while well, the two teenagers are dead on the ground. Man, oh man, worked out quite a sweat on that one. But honestly, I wasn't expecting to see you guys here. Didn't you have business in Zeiss? Oh, we handled that ages ago. Actually, we transferred from the Zeiss branch to Gransel. Ah, I see. Which would mean that you managed to solve that kidnapping case. Well done. How's the redhead who got poisoned? Oh, he's fine now. <laughs> oh, pardon my rudeness. Whoa. Hey, who's the pretty lady? Is she with you? Is she single? She's married with the Lord. <laughs> uh, what? I don't know. We only just met her. Your mouths are open, guys. Do you want me to tell Kilika about this? What do I care? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm uh, just making an objective observation. And what does Kilika have to do with this, anyway? Um, I truly appreciate you all coming to my assistance. You've saved my life. No, no, please think nothing of it. Here's my phone number in case you... need some more help. Just doing what comes naturally for a chivalrous man. Oh, my. Oh, please. He's a total sucker for a pretty face, isn't he? <laughs> so it appears. You there, what are you doing? What? You're four people in an otherwise deserted area, discussing what appears to be a confidential topic. Highly suspicious behavior. I think you're terrorists. 
what? Who are you calling a terrorist? If anyone's acting suspicious here... We're with the Bracer Guild, the uh, Grandsoul Branch. We came to the aid of the sister here who was under attack by some monsters. What? Bracers? Um, this gentleman speaks the truth. I came here to gather herbs when those creatures attacked me. And on a related note, I'm also a bracer. I'll be facing your buddies in the ring later. Calvardia Martial Arts. Ah, you're that guy in the martial arts competition that fights solo, right? Ah, you've definitely got the muscles of a prize fighter. I'll leave you be, just this once. But the Urban Royal Villa is close by. Wanderers and sightseers are not welcome. Also, sister, you're pretty hot. I think we should escort you back to Grenzel now. You've already been enough trouble as it is, from what I can see. Oh, but I... Oh, for the love of... You've been nothing but obnoxious from the moment you started talking. Estelle, shush. We'll take care to avoid the royal villa, sirs. You have our apologies uh, for any inconvenience we've caused. Very well. In the future, however, I would advise you n to know your place. Mouthing off of the wrong to the wrong people can be hazardous. Come on, sister, let's go. All right. Thank you again for your help. Who, uh, who the hell do they think they are? They're special ops soldiers, affiliated with the Royal Army's Intelligence Division. Skillful, to be sure, but their strongest suit is their sneakiness. Their only suit, if you ask me. Er, uh, wait a second, how do you know them, Zin? I ran into their team at the martial arts competition. I was introduced to them then. They're actually fighting? What would some spy types be doing participating in something as public as a tournament? I guess they didn't feel it necessary to conceal their identities. Well, we should get back to the city before they decide that they'd rather fight. Oh, right. What brings you two here anyway? Oh, yeah. Duh. Actually, we were looking for you. Why's that? We had a favor we needed to ask. How about the martial arts competition? So that's how it is, eh? Tell me something, though. Why do you want to take part in the tournament? Well, uh, I've been kinda itching to do something like this ever since I caught those preliminary matches. You know, really throw down with some tough opponents. We're traveling all over the kingdom to help prepare us to become full-fledged bracers. This would be the perfect opportunity to test ourselves and see if our training has paid off. Mmm, alright, let's do it. We can get you registered tomorrow, before the... Whoa, I skipped the dialogue, sorry. Whoa! Hey, are you sure you're okay with giving us an answer so quickly? Hey, it'll give me a chance to see just how skilled you are. Not like I saw you dying from some little bees just a second ago. You just watch my back. Roger that. Thank you, Zin. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. We appreciate it. It's no bother. I've been planning to enter a solo competitor as a solo competitor, but I suppose that having some help could improve my chances of overall victory. Naturally, once I'm in the ring, the championship's in the bag. We're still one person short of the requirement, though. Since we have to face four persons' teams, one more would give us the best possible odds. All right. Uh, hey, I'll bet we could beat them with a fourth. No, if you really want to come out on top, you have to be prepared. A battle is waged well before the first blow is struck. Er, uh, well, yeah, I guess. I sure wish Shara were with us. That'll keep my spirits up. Hey, do you suppose we could ask Elnan to try getting in touch with her and Roland? I think she's kind of busy at the moment. And I mean, I understand that they're the bosses, but like... Isn't Elnan a bracer himself? Couldn't he participate? It wouldn't take too long. Like, you just uh, uh, go out of shop for an hour a day for three days. It's not that big of a deal, I think. Since Dad's not here and we're not there, that branch is pretty short-handed. 
Yeah, that's true. Urgh, isn't there someone who can partner up with us? Are you talking about me? <laughs> and here I was, thinking you might never see your way clear to asking. Yeah, my boy. Ah, uh, enter the pervert, stage left. Don't tell me you were hiding out upstairs. Were you listening in on our conversation? Of course. <laughs> Indeed, I heard every tragic syllable. Therefore, it seemed the appropriate time to make an appearance. Hey, who asked you to sit down? He was the one who was playing the piano before, wasn't he? You know him. Replace no with can't get rid of, and that about covers it. And we haven't even known him for that long either. Many call me Olivier Lenheim, the wandering minstrel from Ennebonia. It was Estelle and Joshua's pleasure to make my acquaintance on an earlier case. And ever since, we seem to keep running into each other. Quit trying to trick him! Zen, don't listen to him. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but there's no harm in introductions, I suppose. Zin Vatek, bracer from Kalvar, the perpetual traveler of the path of Wushu. I've enjoyed your piano playing. Haha, <laughs> you do me great honor, good sir. I have also heard tales of your prowess in the preliminary matches. Tell me, did you truly defeat a team of four entirely on your own? All I can say is that I had the good fortune of them all being rank amateurs. How did I read that sentence? So what does a wandering minstrel, as you say, want with us? Wait, wait, hold it! Olivier, I'd like for you to verify something for me. By any chance, do you have a lot of spare time on your hands? And you say that I haven't changed, good Joshua. You were ever one for the pointed questions. It has been nearly a month since I came to Grandson. I've traveled the length and breadth of the city, enjoying all the sights except the castle. Those boorish soldiers would not allow me to pass. To be certain, there are other places that I'd like to visit, but I could not bear to leave with, with the birthday celebration so close. In other words, you're bored. Now, what is this talk of being a man short that I happen to overhear? I have heard that the winner of this competition will be invited to an extravagant dinner party. Surely this can only be divine providence. Eh... Yeah, pretty much what we figured you were thinking. I had, in fact, wondered if you might invite me to join you in this tournament. You okay with that? Wait, Zin, it's not that simple. I mean, you don't even know if he's any good in a fight. But you do. His specialty is horrible firearms, right? I think the team would be pretty well served by a broad range of tactics. What? Oh my, this is a surprise. I presume you could tell from my walk and the musculature of my shoulders. That, and the way your eyes move. A martial artist and swordsman each have distinct ways that they track their surroundings. You track for a specific point on any possible target. It's characteristic of someone who's familiar with small arms. Oh, wow, that's awesome! I see, it certainly makes sense. Hmm, I'll have to be more careful in the future then. And in your eyes, do I pass master for participating in the tournament with you? Yeah, I think so. Welcome aboard. I'm not sure I like this. Thank you for your assistance, all of you. Please let me save. I can't take much more of this. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna burst. Same, Estelle, same. I can't believe those guys are actually drinking after a meal like that. They must feel up from the legs. Well, Zin's got the constitution for it, and Olivier's just kind of a glutton. As long as it doesn't interfere with Zin's performance in the tournament tomorrow, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, about that. Maybe not with Zin's, but what about Olivier's? Yeah, I guess worrying about it won't do any good. You want to go to the hotel on the north block? Our room should be ready by now.
Good evening, welcome to Hotel Rohenbaum. Where are you looking to stay for the night? Yes, we are with the Bracer Guild. We were told their room would be ready for us. Can you please confirm that? Ah, so that was for you to... Yes, we do have a reservation for the both of you. Phew, that's a relief. We'll have to say thanks to Elnon. Estelle and Joshua, correct? Sorry to ask, but may I please see your identification as bracers? Oh, just a second. Estelle showed the clerk her bracer notebook. Yes, that will be fine. And this is for you. Room 202 key. I skipped another line, damn it. <laughs> if you have need of anything, please contact the front. Ooh, yes, I am in need of a break. Man, it's hard recording with a cold, I'll tell you that, and doing all the different voices. But we finally come to the end of the episode. So, thank you everybody for having followed me thus far. I have been Loaf Dog, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.